as we turn it over now to our women's fancy bustle dancer. Typically, this was actually a men's style of dance. But as all things, indigenous people do evolve. So as I said, with our uh, women's fancy dance, we went from the women's cloth to the more contemporary style of the women's fancy shawl. But before the women's fancy shawl, though um, women actually started dancing the men's dances. So this dance that you see here is actually a men's style of dance. And the story that goes along with this is that it originated during uh, the days of Pawnee Bill and Buffalo Bill. And it said that when he went on his European tour, he took some Plains Indian dancers and he took them overseas and he paraded them around. What these European people had heard about Native Americans during this time was that we were ruthless savages, that we were, that, um, that we were scary, that these were our war dances. You know, we sang songs, uh, so they thought we shouted. We carried our, our, uh, our war shields, our war spears. And it was said that after they presented these native dancers, that they noticed the crowd running. The crowd left. Uh, instead of bringing the people into the rodeo arena, they were scaring the crowd away. And so it said that uh, Pawnee Bill, Buffalo Bill, went down to his dancers and said, hey, we need you guys to change it up. You're scaring our crowds away. And so it was said that these dancers went back to their camp what are we going to do? How they want us to change? How are we supposed to change? And it was said that they sat around and they started singing songs. And as they sang songs, these horses were standing beside them. And they noticed that as, these horse, as they started singing, these horses started dancing, you know, hitting their, their, their hooves on the ground. And as they started dance, or singing, their manes were getting whipped back and forth. Those men, as they sang, those horses started dancing, and they became inspired by that. So we don't just uh, get our dances from, you know, ceremony through dreams, but we're also inspired by our animals and our surroundings around us, like that water story. This dance here has evolved to, as I said, it was a men's dance, but women, before they danced the women's fancy shawl, were actually competing against the men dancers. But the men didn't like that. Once again, they said, get your own. So this time is actually coming around again to where it's not just a men's style of dance, but it has become a woman's style of dance as well. So um, I'm going to turn it over. But this last and final thing that I want to share is that you guys are getting an extremely special treat because this is the inaugural Women's Fancy Bustle World Champion. Miss Morningstar Roberts. 